Hello everyone, my name is AJ Reed, and I'm going to be speaking to you today about the Bible verse I chose for my confirmation. To begin, I want to say thank you to everyone who has been a part of my life at this church, specifically Pastor Dana, Mickey, Mrs. Mahoney, Ms. Smolnik, and my mom and dad. You have all made a great impact on me. Now let's get on with what we are here for. Here's the Bible verse I chose for my confirmation speech. For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you hope and a future. Jeremiah 29, verse 11. This, I can say, is true. In the mind of a teenager, I thought that pain was having bad teachers and hard times when doing homework and studying for countless hours for tests. For example, last year I had a difficult teacher, Mr. Sarah Mosing, for science. He gave many assignments, many tests, and was very difficult to put up with. In my mind, and out loud to my parents, I constantly questioned his method of teaching and asked why he made everything so difficult. Distance learning was already so hard. Why did I get stuck with this teacher? His expectations were high, and it seemed impossible for me to meet. He tested my patience and made me work harder than any class I've ever taken. My motivation to be in his class dwindled. He gave extra credit to help those who needed to raise their grade or to secure their grade. I wanted to secure my grade, so I took the bait and did it. But you want to know how long it took to complete? 22 hours. Yeah, 22 hours. But I did it. In the end, with my teenage mind, I thought that these trials were without purpose. Boy, was I stupid. I had short-sighted vision. Now that I'm in high school, I realize that while Mr. Saramosing made my life miserable for 10 months, his purpose was to help me prosper in higher education. God placed this teacher in my life to strengthen me intellectually and teach me perse perseverance, which gives me great hope that I will survive the next four years of high school and even further in my life. Jeremiah 29, verse 11. I can see why this Bible verse is widely used by many. This verse is really meaningful to me because it truly embodies my feelings about the relationship between me and God, specifically this last year and a half where the world has been turned upside down, while there have been many reasons to fear and while many people are suffering emotionally and physically, this verse allows me and all of us to move past the fear and embrace hope. Even in dark days and difficult situations, we can have hope that God will lead us through. This verse is not just a promise that we will be prosperous in this life, but that as long as we trust God, our lives will be much more bearable and we will be given everything we need. He will give us everything we need to represent him more fully on earth. Now I understand. God does have good plans for me. It just took me a while to recognize it. Thank you.